At this point in the competition, Chef Ramsay wants to hammer home to the chefs the importance of presentation. That is why he will only be tasting the three best-looking dishes from each team. Visually, you didn't want to slice that? I mean, we're talking about presentation. I did like the heartiness of the, the way sure. that I mean, the protein's big, so I think I would have preferred it to be sliced as well. Nedra, I said visually stunning. Why would you stuff salmon? I like stuffed salmon. After close scrutiny, Janelle. I think this one's great. Mary. The meat looks like it's cooked well. And Cindy. It's a little more complex, which is nice. Will represent the red team. Those are the three. Beautiful. As for the blue team, Anthony. I think it looks great. It looks clean. Thank you. Zach. High class steak and potatoes. And John's dishes. Really well put together. Thank you. We'll move on to the tasting phase. But Michael's quail. It doesn't look appetizing. And Ray's lobster. It's like something out of a sci fi movie, that. Have been eliminated from the challenge. The plate's a little scary. I think it's just too overdone. Ready? I'm ready. Good. I have a confit leg and a pan seared duck breast. It well delicious. done. For me, you've nailed the seasoning. Jennifer, to give that out of 50, how would you mark that? I'm definitely going to give it a 45. I'm going to give it a 47. Thank really you very good much. job indeed. John's dish has earned 92 points, getting the blue team off to a great start. Janelle, let's go, please. Now, it's up to Janelle to do the same for the red team. Basil marinated grilled prawns. I finished the dish with a black garlic vinaigrette. It's delicious. Thank you. Well, I'm going to give this one um, 44. I'm going to go 45. Thanks, Chef. Very good indeed. Good Thank job. You. 89 is a B. It's not an A. I want a perfect 100. Anthony, please. Let's go. It's a pan-seared halibut that I crusted with coriander and pink peppercorn. I think it's good. It's not great. Where would you score that? I'm going to give this one a 40. I'm going to go 42. Thank I you. got an 82. Wow. This sucks. Cindy, let's go. It's a fennel crusted sea bass, and then I just made a honey sherry vinaigrette. The taste was really surprising. It was wonderful. Thank you very much. I would really give this one a uh, 45. I'm going to say 45 as well. Thank you. Woo! We've got some pretty good momentum going. Cindy's 90 point contribution gives the women a five point lead heading into the final round. Zach, let's go. The blue team is behind. Got my fingers crossed. I want to be in People Magazine. Roasted red pepper coulis with some garlic and shallots. It's got a good taste. Just a little more medium rare would have really been perfect, but it does taste good. So I'm going to give it a 41. I'm going to go 42. Thank you. Zach's 83 points takes the blue team's total to 257. Mary, please. Which means Mary will need at least 79 points to win it for her team. It's a grilled flank steak. Flank. It's just lightly dusted with a little bit of wasabi and lemongrass. I think it just misses the mark with the way that uh, the meat is cooked. How would you judge that out of 50? Come on, Mary. You can do it. I know you can. I still thought it tasted wonderful. I'm going to give this one 45 for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to go 45. Thank you, Chef. Great well job. Done. Thank you very really much. Really good job. The winning team is the red team. Yeah, well done. Oh my god, the ladies win again. John, you had the highest scoring dish. Blue team, once again, you've lost. So, one person from the red team, you'll be in the People magazine. We have a tie because we have two dishes. Mary's hanger steak or Cindy's bass. Which one gets featured? For me, it was about keeping it simple, and the taste was there, and that's the steak. Mary, well done. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't believe that I won! I mean, I can, but I can't! It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.